Each year, the Autospray team take the big XAG drones to over 20 exhibitions across the UK. It may be a farming exhibition, or one focused on forestry or horticulture, whatever the show's speciality, we all know the number one question that's going to be asked, and it goes something like this. Wow, that's one big drone, but the sprayer, or spreader on my farm, is much bigger than that. How many hectares an hour can the drone really do? Well, as you know, 2023 is the first year that these big drones from XAG have been legal to use in the UK, and boy, it's been a busy year. As news travelled that these drones were able to be used commercially, we've had bookings from every part of the country, from the north of Scotland through Wales and Midlands right down to the south coast. So when the good folks at Ashby Farms in Kent called last week, asking us to undersow a mix of turnips, radishes and rape into 200 hectares of standing wheat, we thought this would be a great opportunity to see exactly how many hectares per hour the P100 drone could do. As any farmer in the UK will tell you, the last couple of months have been some of the wettest on record and harvest is running very late this year. And the team at Ashby Farm were keen to get some winter feed for their flock of over 900 sheep established before they sent the combines into the wheat. And of course the drones are an ideal solution for this. No need to follow established tram lines, no potential for crop damage, no ground compaction, no ruts, and of course no diesel. We were joined by Doug and Sam from Drone Spray Precision, who teach the drone spraying course at Harper Adams University. And at 6am on a cool Tuesday morning, we got to work. The fields were in a variety of locations and ranged in size from 4 to 40 hectares, so we had a good spread to see how all these factors affected work rate. By Wednesday evening, as we wrapped up the last few hectares, we'd had plenty of time to get a proper handle on the P100 drone's true work rate. On the smaller fields, where we had to relocate more regularly, we were averaging 8 hectares an hour. And on the larger fields, we were easily able to sustain 20 hectares per hour. As we drove back up the M6, tired but satisfied with how the last couple of days had gone, we all crossed our fingers for one more rain shower to get the seeds off to a good start.